This video is not meant for official advice and all statements and information given by the official authorities should take priority to everything stated in this video. On this video I am simply reporting on my observations here in Thailand. This video was filmed 15th of March 2020. No, Thailand is not locked down. Uh, Thailand has, based on uh, yesterday's report uh, from World Her Health Organization, uh, 75 confirmed cases, uh, with uh, 35 cases where the person has already been uh, cleared of the virus, and one person has uh, died of uh, the coronavirus. Also, this information is coming partly from uh, Finnish uh, news magazine Helsingin Sanomat, which is gathering information around the world and putting it into one place for us to see. When entering the country your temperature will be checked and uh, the national government has already passed restrictions on people arriving from, uh, from certain countries. Uh, so make sure you check the daily recommendations and, uh, and situation based on your residency and tra uh, travel plans as these restrictions and limitations do change almost on a daily basis. There are also checkpoints in shopping malls and centers for uh, public mass transit where your temperature will be checked and also you will be probably be provided with hand sanitizer. Now having lived in Thailand for several years I have uh, never felt unsafe here in Thailand. Uh, biggest risks uh, tourists face nowadays are traffic. In the traffic, around 13,000 people die every year on the, on the roads of Thailand, with uh, hundreds of thousands of people being injured. Also, you will see stray dogs on the beaches and streets. Also, precaution needs to be taken by diseases transmitted by mosquitoes in this area. Uh, such as dengue fever. Now these are the biggest risks I personally believe uh, are in Thailand at the moment. Also as I mentioned before considering the complete amount of uh, people living in Thailand which is about 69 million, the complete amount of cases published by the officials is, uh, is not very high compared to the amount of people living in this country. So in my opinion this is not the biggest risk uh, you will face in Thailand uh, as uh, probably the situation is already worse in your home country. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, much more quiet now here in Thailand as uh, tour operators, airlines, cruise lines are cutting down the amount of uh, flights. They are imposing cancellations, uh, uh, pushing back uh, flight dates, etc. So this is something that is making a big difference here at the moment and you can see it on the streets. And as tourism is uh, one of the biggest contributors of, uh, of income here in Thailand, it is really affecting the local economy as well already here. For example, uh, b what before was uh, number one tourist group were the Chinese uh, tourists. These. Uh, masses that used to be here last year are not anymore around. Also uh, Western tourists are stopping their uh, trips and cancelling their trips and this is also making a big change here for the local tour operators. Hotels are normally at this time of the year around 75% full uh, and now based on the data that I have uh, been given here uh, hotels are seeing capacities of about 20 to 50% at maximum so hotels are also running very empty here at the moment but there are also nice little positive things yesterday I had a chat with a lady who runs a small small restaurant here and she said that her business is booming with the food delivery business surpassing the amount of uh, business that she does with uh, walking customers. So little positive things there, at least, you know, for some people. Now this is a good question and uh, would be interesting to hear what the healthcare professionals have to say about this issue. Does the warm climate affect the spread of the virus? I don't know. Does the warm climate boost our personal immune systems? I don't know. Is there a huge gap between the 
official numbers given out by the healthcare officials here and the actual numbers. I don't know. With the high season coming shortly to an ending here in Southeast Asia, the coming rainy season will mean more struggle to the local economy. All areas of uh, tourism themselves are highly dependent on the financial gains obtained in the short five-month high season, which will then provide a buffer for the more quiet and longer low season, especially here in southern Thailand. This sudden drop in the last part of the high season will put the individuals, companies and government into a tough test of survival of the fittest. No, absolutely not. Now, while the infection risk being uh, fairly low, while looking at the numbers, there are still things you need to take into consideration. Uh, worldwide travel limitations and restrictions, quarantines, uh, sudden changes in uh, travel plans, and the risk of being stuck uh, are something everyone needs to take into consideration while traveling at the moment. Uh, no one can clearly say what will happen uh, tomorrow or the next days to come. So all in all to summarize, uh, stay calm, relaxed, enjoy Thailand if you're already in the country, enjoy the beauty around you here and wherever you are, never forget it. Follow the general healthcare instructions and follow the information given by the officials. And remember always that life is a fantastic journey with many, many twists and turns. So have fun and see you later.